Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another mukbang for y'all. Hey y'all, excuse me, I'm hot. I just finished cooking. Today I got some, if you've already seen the title, I got some jerk chicken breasts right here. I have some garlic broccoli and some rice. Y'all have way more rice than this, but this is actually all that I need. Literally dropped a bunch of rice before this video. We're not gonna get into that. And I got some cold water today. So yeah, y'all, you guys feeling? I hope you're having a good day so far. Also got some sweet barbecue brown sugar. I'm also gonna put my jerk chicken. Let me also get a fork. Okay. Yeah, I need to get the first bite. <laughs> All right. A little bit of barbecue sauce on the end. Mm. I haven't had jerk chicken in so long. So long. It's like one of my favorite ways to make jerk meat, to make chicken. Mm. This breast is so tender. Now, y'all, this is the jerk seasoning that I use. I was worried that I wasn't going to find it. I thought it was just in New York, but I guess it's everywhere. And with this, you don't have to put a lot of salt. Like, you can just add, like, your onion, garlic stuff to this. And this is mild. But they have a hot one also. If you like your stuff extra spicy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what everybody's been talking about. It's a new abduction story. I'm not gonna be one person to. It's too many. Um, too many. But yeah, y'all. Um, I just really like. Mm, I want something good to eat. I want something good to eat, y'all. Oh, this breast is tender. Got a little sweet, a little bit of spice. Mm. This is good for a little portion control. I don't want to eat certain amounts. Mm. Okay, you know. This is a good bowl for like soup or pasta. I want you to see the meat. See the meat. Juices. See the meat. <laughs> Let me know if that's a distraction. Like, why is it tilted? I know when I'm watching videos with some food. I was like, let me see that food, girl. Mm. Let me see that food. Mm. Broccoli. It's refreshing. I just put like an herb blend on that. Garlic, onion, pepper. To balance the savory, savoriness of the jerk. Uh, 
I would be hitting. That's my thing for certain. Y'all, if y'all like Jamaican food, what's um, your go to order at a Jamaican restaurant? I'm thinking about making some curry chicken also next week. Mm. I love cabbage. Mm. Oh, cabbage. Of course, oxtails. Mm. And a jerk pork. Goat. Comment down below. Mm. I even like the patties, like the jerk chicken patty, the curry chicken patty, the beef. It tastes so much more authentic than buying the frozen one, even though I grew up with a frozen one and it don't taste good too. Throw them in the oven. And I'm talking about the Tower Isles brand, I think it's called. Not the Golden Crush one. Because the Golden Crush, um, it was close to the ones we get in the restaurant. Mm. But yeah, yeah, I watch, um, what was it? Black Noah Dani show? Mm. Sorry. And she made some homemade patties, I think, for her husband's birthday. Yeah, ooh. Mm. It was so good. So good. Mm. Oh no. Mm. It's season. It's still juicy. We got the trick to when we got making chicken breast on top of the stove. It's like steak. You don't cut it. And these are come. It's not a whole breast. It they come sliced like half. And they're still kind of beefy, but even with the bigger ones, too. Don't cut into that bad boy. Turn that skillet on. Flip it on both sides. Keep flipping it. Keep flipping it. Bring your olive oil or your butter runs out. Whatever you put at the bottom of your pan. Avocado oil, sesame oil, peanut oil, whatever you use. Coconut oil, whenever it runs out. Put a little bit of water. And cover it. Now, if you like me, then don't, and I'll be having tops for your pot, so don't know where I put them. Put a piece of foil on top or a plate. That's why this plate is shaped like a boat. Let it steam out on low. Girl. When you cut it open, it's like all the juices stay inside. Once you cut it, the juices release a little bit. The flavor that's on the outside, that crisp on both sides, gets in the inside. Mm. Then you got some juicy breasts. Now I've been looking for that orange seasoning that Ace have. I'm sure it's probably in Food Lion. I didn't go in there yet, but I am definitely gonna get me some and try it on these breasts. Um, yes.
Y'all, that food was so good. I came over here to tear it up. Kitchen hot. Lights, lights beaming on me hot. I hope you guys have a great day. Great weekend. No matter what's been going on, just still keep putting one foot in front of the other. You know, everything is going into play for your good. You just got to follow through. I had a crazy dream last night. Scared the crap out of me. Uh, excuse me. But I know it's it means, uh, well, the main message of the story was transitioning and ending. It was the end. Um, but usually that means, yeah, you know, something new is coming. And I know that I'm in a transition state. Um, things got to change. Everything all around. If I want to move forward and flourish. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Shout out to Lily Yours Truly on YouTube. She did a vlog the other day that was very, very informative. And it was something that I needed to hear. You know. Um, go check it out. Good video, good channel. She's a mom. Vlogger. Wear many hats. But yeah, y'all. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Your start of the next week. And, um, Stay tuned for next week's Friday Fix. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the domestic violence story uh, next week. Because something came over me where I feel like, you know, I don't really want to tap into negative. Uh, I really want to keep a positive view on this channel. I, I probably would save it for domestic violence awareness because I think that will be more appropriate. So I'm probably going to do something different this Friday. One of the ones I already mentioned. Um, but I hope you guys continue liking, comment, and subscribing. Love you guys. Appreciate the support. Um, and yeah, share me out if you like. Thumbs up if you like. Come back. This is an open door. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.